Hey guys, it's Tom from Texas and it's time for another floppy deep dive. And today we're going to be diving into the wonderful arcade game Tapper. Tapper is one of my favorite games that I never got to play at the arcade. In fact, I never even seen the arcade version at any of the arcades when I was growing up as a kid. My only reference to Tapper is my good old Commodore 64. So now that I have all these systems, I figured why not let's check it out on the many faces and look at all these systems on Tapper. So what we're going to be looking at is all these different systems. We're going to be looking at the Apple II. 2e. I've got my Commodore 128 loaded up. I got my arcade version, the official arcade version loaded up. Another Commodore 64 version, my Atari 800 XL, and my ZX Spectrum back in the back making all that noise, humming and buzzing you might hear because you just can't turn off the volume on a ZX Spectrum. Some of the other systems we're going to be checking out today is the ColecoVision, the Atari 2600. We're also going to be checking out the PlayStation and also an Amiga 500 version that just came out in 2021 we're going to be checking out here today and many other systems so if you love retro computers you love retro gaming and you love retro software this is the channel for you. So I wanted to show you this poster of the winner of T Win Tom's Retro Poster Contest. His name is Dave Fox and he just got his poster this week and here's a picture of him holding it up, grinning ear to ear. So happy that Dave loves his poster and it just proves that people do win here on Floppy Deep Dive. I want to do a shout out to Tony. Tony in Italy, thank you so much for being my first Patreon. Uh, you supported the channel so far through this year and a half and this journey, and thank you so much. I appreciate it. That allows me to, you know, continue to get software, different hardware for you guys, better camera, better lighting, make better videos, and I just love doing this. So thank you so much for supporting my dream. I would love nothing more than be able to do this full time for you guys. Love going through this old retro computers and you join the Patreon channel just makes it so much easier for me to do that. If you haven't joined yet, check out the link over here and check it out. So this episode is sponsored by PCBWay. And this is one of the cards you can get off of PCBWay.com. And you can go out there and do this project yourself. This one I show because I own it because it's a two-in-one. It has the diagnostic cart uh, cartridge on it and it also has the dead test cartridge on it. And I find this to be very, very helpful when I'm having any issues with my Commodore 64. But they got a lot of projects for all different types of computers that you can go out there and do. So I think it's worth checking out. So go out to PCBWay.com. Let's go ahead, pull up a chair, grab a joystick, and let's get started. So first we're going to be looking at the arcade game Tapper. And Tapper came out in 1983, so it is 39 years old, almost 40 years old, this game. And it is so much fun. I love to play Tapper. You can just pick up the joystick and get started. And my original idea here for this video is I was just going to do a Commodore versus Atari because I was playing the Commodore version because every time I do see it on the disc, I have to load it up and have to play it. And my Atari's right next to it, and I was thinking, I've never played it on the Atari 800XL. I wonder what that version is like. Is it similar? So I loaded it up, and it was completely different. But every time I do this, and I was just going to keep it to those two, it seems to morph. Because I start getting wondering what other systems are like, and what's going on. So... I have to go and open up all of them and see what they're like. So that's what I do. So it turned in from a, a Commodore versus Atari video on Tapper to the many faces of Tapper. And I hope you like these videos because I sure do enjoy making them. I uh, love playing this game and just seeing all the different version out there. And now I'm going to show you each of those different versions on the different machines that it was released on. Um, so a little bit about Tapper. It came out, as you can see, was the Budweiser theme, which didn't last long because it was construed that it's, you know, uh, advertising to minors. And, you know, that's such a big no-no. And even back in the 80s, they weren't allowing that to happen. So they had to switch it. So they switched the name and rethemed it to Root Beer Tapper, which was more pc uh, even back in those days, we were trying to be PC and keep everybody happy. But it was originally sponsored by Anheuser-Busch. It was intended to be just sold to bars, and it's some game you would play at a bar. And you actually had 
like the beer tap handles that you would pull on that would be used as the controller which how cool would that be right I've never seen one of those and I can't even remember ever seeing tapper in an arcade so unfortunately I didn't get to play the arcade version the one I always played was my good old Commodore 64 now there's also an arcade version out there with Suntory and Suntory was an alcoholic beverage that's famous in Japan. I never heard of it, didn't know what Suntory was until I did some research for it. You guys down in comments let me know if it's any good. But they also made an arcade version with that sponsor in it. So they had two with different alcohol showing it when you played the game. And the game was fun. The guy, the character in there, his name really isn't Tapper. His name is really Domino Man. And they used him in three different games. Uh, Domino Man, this one, and another one where he was uh, a lumberjack. And I can't recall the name of it off the top of my head. But he was in three, but Tapper's the most popular that he was in. And again, his name is Domino Man. And he's going through there. And you've got to serve all these different customers. And you'd lose a life if you empty mug falls off at the end of the bar or if they get all the way to the end and then they slide you down and bang your head in there or if you throw a cup and there isn't a patient there and it breaks so that's how you lose a life and there's many different levels starts off you're in a western saloon and there's two different ones with cowboys then you go to a sports bar with athletes and there's three different screens then there's a punk rock bar with punk rockers and there's four screens and then last but not least, there's the outer space bar with aliens where there's four screens. And it is so much fun. And of course, you got that bonus round in the middle, right? Where you got six cans of beer or root beer or whatever's advertising. All in Commodore 64, it was always the Mountain Dew. I've seen Pepsi. I've seen root beer. So it changes through the different one depending on the game. And then the little mask guy comes and shakes up the cans and then you got to follow the cans and make pick the right one or if you pick the wrong one it just squirts in your face and I just love it and the music's good the sounds good it is just a fun awesome game and so I thought you know why not let's look at all the different systems let's talk about a little bit on all these different systems what I thought about it I played them all and just share with you guys my love for tapper and show you the different systems and how they work so let's go ahead and dive in so the first version of tapper we're going to look at is the Atari 2600 such a classic system right and of course the graphics aren't as good as the arcade game but this is what you got in the 80s and what you could bring home and play and the play is not exactly the same as the arcade obviously they're limited on what they could do but it was actually really really good I like this version on the 2600. Uh, I like after you complete the level, they have the little bit of dance and the music, like when you pick up the tips. And it, it's, it's a fun one. And I never am going to put down 2600 because of graphics, because we all know the limitations there. But I always love just playing this and seeing what they did creatively, how much time they really put into it, and how well they did. And they did really well on this game, and it's a fun one. So let's look at the gameplay a little bit of the Atari 2600 before we move on to the next one. So next we're going to be looking at Tapper on the good old Apple IIe and I love having this system where I can pull it up and play it and Tapper on here is definitely different than on the other systems. You're much bigger, much bulkier on this system. Here you are in the cowboy start off. Love the moose heads up at the side. Little bit sluggish when you're playing to release the beer. Not as fluid as I think as the Atari 2600 that I just played. So it's a little bit of a delay when you're doing it. And so for some reason it was, it was just hard for me to adjust but I thought they did overall good. The, the sound's not as great as the other ones. Music not as great. But still, very much playable. They're all pretty much play the same. 
But anytime I get to break out the Apple IIe and play a game on it, I just love doing it. It's just such a classic system. Love running for the change and getting the dancing girls dancing to distract them while they're going down the bar. So it gives you a little time, a little breathing room to be able to continue on. On the Apple IIe that this... The Western bar was actually a little bit harder than the other systems. It was hard to get past the second screen uh, just because they just kept coming. And the, the more you tried to knock them out and, and, and get them out of there, they would just keep on coming through. So a little bit more difficult than the other systems. But again, enjoy anything on this Classic too. So let's watch the gameplay a little bit and then we'll jump to the next one. So next I'm going to be breaking out my Tandy 1000SX and do a little MS-DOS gameplay here and show you that one. And this one, besides the pink and the blue here, is actually a fun one, but it's really fast. Look how fast those mugs fly down the bar and how fast I'm doing. The speed on this was just incredible after going from the Apple, which was very slow and sluggish. This one is just too fast. And so, just trying to keep up with it, it looks like I'm like in an advanced mode or something, was very difficult because those mugs going down to catch it, it was always hard. And this is just the Western one, right? On the other versions, this is simple. You do a couple of things, get through it, move on to the next one. Here I am still going. So, they made this one tough. I enjoyed playing it, you know, definitely different. The graphics are definitely different looking. You're still just the good old tapper over there serving your beer and not having to fake it up by doing, you know, soda. But uh, still, well, I take that back. If you look at the window over there, it says soda. So I guess in my mind it's supposed to be, but he doesn't look like he the root beer guy with the hat yet. But uh, anyway, like this MS-DOS version, let's go ahead and check it out for a little bit and then move on to the next one. So now I get to pull out my good old ZX Spectrum and check out this version of the game. And the characters in this one look very similar to the Commodore 64 one. Uh, graphics obviously not as good as the Commodore 64 nor the music or the sound effects but this is the good old ZX Spectrum and how it looks now their music just drives me nuts I don't know if that's supposed to be like they're playing the music on a um, rubber band or what that humming buzzing sound is but it drove me nuts I could not stand that in this game that just uh, it was just too much. Um, I'm used to the quality sound of the Commodore 64 and of other games, so getting that was definitely uh, annoying, and I found it annoying. But I love checking out these ZX Spectrum games because to me, guys, this is the first time. I've never played Tapper on ZX Spectrum. I'm glad that I have the ZX Spectrum now where I can play these games. The gameplay overall itself is just like the other ones. It's fun, very similar to the Commodore 64 on the speed of it going through. Uh, of course, on this one, they have Pepsi instead of Mountain Dew. So maybe over there in England, you guys over there in the UK tell me you drink a lot of Pepsi versus... Well, I guess Mountain Dew's a, a Pepsi product too, but I guess they didn't want to tell you Mountain Dew. But anyway, Pepsi's the one who does this one over there. I love seeing how these sponsors change through the different games. Um, but all of it, it has everything just like the arcade and all the other ones do, including the round where you gotta find the can that doesn't spurt up in your face, and just as the same many number of levels. So. Kudos to ZX Spectrum that they could pull this off on that machine and really does not look that bad. So let's look at this a little bit and then we'll move on to the next one. So here's a first again for me guys, trying out the BBC Micro and seeing how this system works with Tapper. Uh, they love their yellows and reds in here for sure. 
and but the characters and everything look very Commodore 64 ZX Spectrum like the speed of the game is very similar so it definitely looks like it was made by the same people who made the Commodore 64 version and the ZX Spectrum version of this game and again you got the different thing in this version they have Mountain Dew so it's BBC Micro again another one from the UK so I guess maybe they do like Mountain Dew over there too but this one got it like I said much more similar to the Commodore 64 and the character is, is all kind of look the same the graphics look the same besides just the shading of it all Ooh, now this blue and green this is definitely different too but again looks the same as the other ones it's just the colors they must not have had as many different colors so BBC Micro, a very familiar playing it. Feels like I'm playing the Commodore 64. The gameplay is very similar. And when we get to the Commodore, you can see how that's the same and how it's the ZX Spectrum that we just saw. You can see that the characters outline look the same. So let's look at the gameplay a little bit of this one and we'll move on to the next system. So now we're going to be looking at the Amstrad's version of Tapper. And as you can see, it looks very similar to the BBC Micro, but better colors, much better colors. Very similar to the Commodore 64. Now, I did notice on this version that I'm playing, and this is emulation. I'm being upfront with you guys because I do not own an Amstrad. It is on my list. It is definitely a system that I would love to get. Uh, always love the vibrant colors and everything about this system and we're definitely looking for one and for one day we'll pick this up when you know can afford it and can do it but until that time I still have an access to be able to play it and check it out and I like this version what I miss though is it has the music playing but it didn't have the sound effects of the glass and the glass breaking and the filling and the different stuff like that it just had the music like when I was walking you didn't hear the sound of me walking and so that's different in this one and I missed it and so that was something that really stood out to me when I was playing it but like I said the gameplay is definitely like the Commodore 64 and the other ones that Spectrum just look at these characters the characters look very very similar and I, again, another great system, another great version. Tapper just continues to impress on all the different systems that I'm checking out. So let's go continue, look a little bit more at this Amstrad version, and then we'll move on to another one. So next we're going to be looking at the Atari 800XL and this is the one that I wanted to compare to my Commodore 64 because I never played this version of it before and this one they're advertising right away they got the Mountain Dew up against the back wall they got soda in the window over there on the left hand side and the play of this the characters everything looks completely different than anything that Commodore 64 and it kind of looks like they went more towards the arcade version right it's more has the 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 guy on the tapper is a little bit smaller the guys are a little characters are a little bit smaller going down the bar um, I didn't like how the tables the exact same color as the cans you think they could have changed that color up a little bit when they did this round with the squirting but uh, made it a little bit harder and more complicated. But here we are now in the sports bar and, and giving it out to the different sports fans coming into the sports bar. And I find it funny, it looks like these guys are wearing football helmets and 
I think they have rackets like a tennis racket and a baseball. Not really sure. They got the blimp in the background. But I like this version. Don't get me wrong. Atari 800XL. I love that it was different, right? I love the fact that they're not all exactly the same because how boring would that be, right? This actually made it enjoyable. So this is what made me want to compare the two. And when I got it, I was not let down seeing this because I was like, dang, this is like something I've never played before ever. And that was good. That was a good thing. So enjoyed playing the Atari 800 XL. I liked their, their version of this game and definitely will play this one some more. Just because it's different but it is fun it's very similar same gameplay the speeds very similar but again check this one out if you haven't checked it out yet so now we're going to play the game that I know and love the Commodore 64 version of Tapper and this is what I grew up with this is what I played I mentioned I never played the arcade version of Tapper so this is what I knew and in my mind I compare everything to so I really like those systems that really look very similar to it like the Amstrad did a good job and all those ones we've already looked at and I keep mentioning here's the Commodore 64 but do you hear this different sounds and the music and how the sound is so great great on the Commodore 64. That SID chip's amazing, isn't it? And just love this, love the feel of it. Like the Mountain Dew, the colors and everything of the Mountain Dew. Like the character here shaking the can. See how the can's green, different colors than it is on the table so you can actually see what you're looking at here and be able to follow. Let's see if I was good enough on this one. Oh, I did good on there. All right, so then we go into the sports bar and you got your umbrellas over there and you're serving to these guys in the sports bar and they're coming in not so much like the other one in the atari where they look like they had uh you know football helmets on and so forth but this one is a fun one and i've never i guess i should have let y'all see if they got to the end of the bar they grab me and they throw me down the bar and i hit my head I guess I should have showed an example of that, but I, maybe I'm just too dang good, so that did not happen. Anyway, that was a joke. Anyway, so I enjoyed this one a lot. Of course, Commodore 64 is my king of all kings around this time, and it's just a great, great version of Tapper. I don't have the cartridge version of this. I always had it on a floppy disk, and it was one of my very first discs. It was on disc number 10. So it was one of the first games I ever even got for the Commodore when we did a copy party or wherever I got this game from. But been playing it for many, many years. Like I said, Tapper's been around for 39 years. So it's had a lot of gameplay. And whenever I break out my Commodore 64, it's one of the first games that I always pull up and I always want to play because it's just so easy and it's so fun and there's that challenge to it and I never made it to the aliens this time normally I get to the aliens and get past the punk rockers and everything I'm getting stuck in the sports bars so it feels like my skills deteriorate the older I get when it comes to these video games but don't care still enjoy it still love it and I hope you guys love it too so let's go ahead and move on to the next one So now we're going to be looking at the ColecoVision version of this game and this is more like the arcade, how he, the shape of the character looks and, and how they, they look when they're coming in to the bar with their big old cowboy hats on. Now I like this one but I did notice that I moved through it pretty quick. I thought the Coleco version was actually pretty easy. Look at the sponsor here. We just got root beer on this one. This definitely is the root beer tapper because he's got his root beer tapper hat on, right? He no longer looks like the beer guy. So then I get to select. Let's see how I did on this one. Hey, I'm going great on these so far. So on to screen four. So we're already into now the uh, sports bar and serving root beer to these sports fans. They still all wearing cowboy hats like they did in the bar. 
But if you notice, I want you to pay attention how slow those mugs go down the bar. I mean, they're just ooching along very, very slow. Am I complaining about that? No, but because it makes it much more simpler to be able to play this game when those bar beer mugs are moving that slow because I could just keep serving and I'm not even worried about them running off and I can clear that screen so much easier, right? So love the Coleco version. I, I just love uh, just loading up the ColecoVision and being able to play it. Uh, I always admired the game, you know, when I would see it in retail stores and I never owned it as a kid, so I've owned it now as an adult, so now being able to play it is just a blast. So, hope you guys enjoyed seeing this one as much as I did, and let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So here's a little bonus for you guys. Here's the Amiga version of Tapper. And you're not going to find this anywhere else out there on the, any of the YouTube videos and anyone comparing, which mine's different anyway because I just don't show gameplay. I actually give you my thoughts and comments and so forth on the Tapper and the different systems. But Amiga is not well representative out there in this Tapper. And the, and the reason is this came out in 2021. And those old videos out there just don't have it. But look at here i love the how this looks on the amiga it looks really really cool it's more like the arcade and it has budweiser you know as the sponsor on it look at these sports guys coming in wearing their football helmets and baseball bats and basketball players spinning the ball and everything looks really really good now i believe this is still being developed i don't think it's the final product and this like i said came out in 2021 so i don't know if they ever finished it or if they're still working on it but it was cool just to see an amiga version of tapper and actually get some gameplay in it so i just wanted to show it to you guys so let's check this out for a little bit So next we're going to be looking at the PlayStation 1 and it came out on the Arcade's Greatest Hits, the Midway Collection number two for the PlayStation, included Tapper. And so I thought it would be cool to load that up on the PlayStation and check it out. And this one looks just like the arcade, right? By this time we could easily copy and in our homes we have, we went all the way from the Atari 2600 to this. And this quality looking arcade action play that the PlayStation 1 gives you, right? And it looks just like it. Now, this is the root beer version of everything. Uh, starting again out in the Western Bar. And it's pretty simple. Uh, you got your little hat on. You do the flipping of the mug and kicking of the mug. And all that different stuff that's right there in the arcade. And PlayStation in this game just looks amazing. And I love these arcade classics that you could play on the PlayStation when they would come out with these discs because you would have so many different games on there that you could play. And this was before RetroPie and all the different stuff where you could play the arcade games. So it was a great option to play arcades when the PlayStation came out and they did such a good job on it. And again, love this showing on the root beer and showing the root beer tapper. And I just love the whole history of this whole thing. Ooh, didn't do well on that one. The whole history of the thing. And just love this game. Thought it looked good. So definitely want to look at this for a little bit. Give PlayStation its props. And this is it. This is the last one. So let's go ahead and get this thing wrapped up.
So that's it guys, that was Tapper today. I hope you enjoyed this version and looking at all these different systems and seeing some of these games maybe for the first time. And I just love playing them all. It's so cool just to see the different versions and how people grew up on it. So happy with my Commodore 64 version. Love to hear your comments on which system did you play? Did you love Tapper? What did you think about Tapper? Also, don't stop here. We've got many videos on many faces where you could check out many different games where or it's all the system. So if you like these kind of videos, check these two out too. And until next time, thank you for joining me on Floppy Deep Dive. Yeah!